One of the most colorful couples of the last season of 90 Days of Being Groomed was Jibri and Miona Bell. This couple showcased their lavish lives by wearing fancy outfits and making extravagant purchases. But after they showed off the Porsche, I wondered how this couple, who couldn't afford their place and so had to live with Jibri's parents, could now afford outrageous things. It seems to me that Jibre, an artist who lives with his parents, may not be 100% truthful about his financial situation. After she arrived, Jibri asked Miona to stay in South Dakota for a long time so they could save up enough money to go to California, where she wanted to live. Here's what Miona said when asked how they could own a house and a Porsche now after not being able to afford a rent a year ago. We could always afford rent. Jibri didn't live with his parents since he was 17 years old. When I first came to South Dakota, that was also Jibri's first time there in three years. He lived for years in Chicago. I had a successful business in Serbia and Jibri had his own business here for two years. He wanted me to come to SD so I could meet his family. We were there for maybe three or four weeks total and I hadn't been back there for almost a year now. That's the pure truth. According to Miona, none of them needed a place to live or was broke. So isn't this just another case of a cast member lifting the veil on how the show that spawned the franchise created the storyline its members agreed to? At the same time, it's just Miona's account of events. If they both are already very successful, one might wonder why Jibri sold his pants online or got into a fight with Patrick Manda's brother John. 90 Day Fiancé has undoubtedly lied to its viewers in the past, but this is a case where it's the word of the producer's editorial staff versus the word of one of the contestants we don't know that well. At this point, it's unknown if Jibri and Miona Bell will return to 90 Days of Being Groomed, as only Bilal Hatsiz and Shaida Sween have been cast in the current season of Happily Ever After. Obviously, they have a healthy fanbase who is still interested in their story, so I won't be surprised if we see them in the near future.